Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Mac Mini M1 review but this time it's a year later. I originally made a video saying that this was every VFX artist's dream and that was my first impression so now I'm just going to update you on how I think it holds up after a year. So if you haven't seen the original video or the one that I did on Cinema 4D with the Mac Mini M1, you can watch those here or you can check them out in the description. But just to fill you in, I have the one terabyte, 16 gigs of RAM Mac Mini M1. So I'm gonna start with Cinema 4D because that was super popular and controversial amongst a lot of the people watching. And sorry to let down anyone who told me to get a PC, it still handles Cinema 4D like a champ. I have absolutely zero complaints when it comes to Cinema 4D with the Mac Mini M1 and I don't think it's even crashed for me once yet. Cinema 4D runs pretty quick and the render times are that of a decent PC build. Alright now moving on to Adobe Premiere, editing in there is super easy, super quick and it runs just fine even with 4K clips and I can export a full 3 minute, 3.5 three minute 4K music video in about 15 minutes and that's with all these adjustment layers of color, glow, anything like that. Any kind of distortion that really bogs down a system still crush it in like 15 minutes no problem but if I don't have all these crazy layers and it's just color it'd be like five minutes now here is where I'm not super pumped on the Mac mini m1 and that is in after effects after effects still kind of runs slow there's a lot of buffering going on and I think after effects is pretty intensive on the system but I've noticed a couple things that I'm not happy with at all so the other day I was compositing two clips onto each other so I was working on a driving green screen clip so replacing the green screen windows with some movement of you know what would actually be out the window but they were both clips from a red I could tell my system hated doing it and so it was like a two minute clip and when I went to export it I had to export it in five different segments because it kept telling me that the system's memory had reached its limit it said that After Effects was using 115 or 120 gigs and it was basically telling me to just shut it down. And that was really frustrating. So I had to export it in like 20 to 30 second clips just so it wouldn't crash. And yes, I have watched all the tutorials on there about clearing your media disk cache and I kept doing that. And I'm making sure that the location of all that stuff is on an SSD that's got plenty of space. There's no reason that this should be bogging down other than I think it's just that the system's RAM is not high enough to handle that kind of comping on that big of a file, especially when exported. I think that clip was like 100 gigs. Also, I don't know what happened, but forget about rotoscoping. I can't use the Roto 2.0 brush. I can use it for the first frame, but then as soon as it goes to propagate, nope, instant crash. And I don't know if that's an After Effects issue, a Mac Mini M1 issue, or if that's an After Effects on Silicon Base Max issue, but I used to be able to do it just fine. And like I said, I already you know have plenty of space on my hard drives and their SSDs, and it doesn't even give me an option, it just crash can't just forget about it. I have to mask from now on and that really sucks. All right, now moving on to Unreal Engine. I've been watching a ton of tutorials and I've been wanting to dip my toes into Unreal Engine because it's unreal how powerful that system can be. It's really frustrating because the times I try to use it, the Mac just, it, it runs so slow and then it freezes to the point where I can't even force quit. I can't even remember how I got out of that situation. I think I had to turn off the Mac and then uninstall Unreal because my computer just didn't know what to do. And I've downloaded it again, but I haven't tried it yet. And so it sounds like I might not be able to use it on my Mac Mini M1, which really sucks because I want to. One of the things I complained about early on was the Wi-Fi on the Mac Mini M1. Because for some reason it was in the exact same spot as my iMac, but the Wi-Fi was just a hundred times worse. And it's weird because after the first month, didn't have that problem anymore and I've had no problem with the Wi-Fi since. So my overall conclusion after a year of using this is I still love my Mac Mini M1, but I do see myself in the next year or two getting a really good build of a PC so that I don't have issues like with Unreal Engine or working with Red Clips. I want a shitload of RAM. <laughs> but I will say this, that if you're looking for a good all-around computer, I still think that the Mac Mini M1 is pretty freaking good and will meet most of your needs. Now let me know down in the comments if you've used the Mac Mini M1 and if you're a VFX artist or 3D artist, how you like it for you and your workflow. I'm actually genuinely curious to see if everyone else likes it as much as me. I know all the PC warriors will probably be in the comments telling me I'm an idiot for spending this much money on this, but 
trust me, I wasn't because I still love this thing. And that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and then also subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.